Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to be updating your Apple Watch. And the best way to do that and easiest way is throughout your app on your phone. So let's get started. Right away, as you start up your app, you should see something like so. If it doesn't do this for some reason, it doesn't open up right here, don't worry about it. I'm going to go back and show you where that is. So if you go into general, go into your second option, software update, it's going to say this. It might start downloading by itself, or you might have to press down here, download to watch. So technically it should do it by itself, although some of you might have automatic updates turned off, which I suggest doing so, never have them turned on. Just go on and download it all by itself, just because you opened up the app and this kind of knows that you want to do that. Anyways, right now all we have to wait is for the update to be done. You can just leave your phone there to be. Your Apple Watch at this point, you could have it on, or you could take it off and just charge it up. If the battery is a little bit low, have it charging. So anything below 50%, I would have it charging. So nothing bad happens. Even at 60%, I would have it charging. This is a small update. So I think for those of you who are at 60% could get away with it. However, if your Apple Watch is an older one, for sure charge it up even if it's at 60%, just in case. Other than that, it's just gonna restart like it always does and it's gonna be done in just a few seconds actually. This should not take too long for most of you unless your internet's quite slow, then sure, this could take a few minutes. But for most of you, it's just a couple seconds for it to download, install the software, restart, and you are all done with the update on your Apple Watch. I should mention that once it's done downloading, you should see a screen like so, just saying preparing, and then you just have to wait. So once it's finally done preparing the update, so down here below, just press on install and finally enter your passcode. Once you enter your passcode, you should see these terms. Just tap on agree on the bottom right hand side. After you click on agree, just go ahead and it's gonna say installing. However, uh, make sure you have at least 50% of your battery. If you have anything below that, or even if you have 50, it might tell you to go ahead, take off your Apple Watch, place it down so you can charge it up and just have it charging while it's doing this update. So that's something I usually tell you to do all the time with your iPad or your iPhone when you're updating, just have it charging. With Apple Watches, since their battery does tend to last a little bit longer, I don't. But generally speaking, if you're getting close to that 50%, just go ahead and have it charging while you're doing this update. Right now, all we have to do is just wait. Your Apple Watch at this point in time, you should be seeing an Apple logo and kind of a loading bar around your Apple Watch, and that's it. Just wait for it, it's gonna be done in just a few seconds. Anyways, once the update is done, you should see something like so. It should say Watch OS 10.1, and your watch is officially all up to date. Again, on your Apple Watch itself, you should see that loading, like I said, plus another Apple logo, it's gonna restart and it's gonna be all done. That's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.